My name's uh, Don Dixon, and I am an animator illustrator. I grew up in a very loud, creative family, and basically Thriller came out, and uh, I had to ask my father, uh, how, how did you turn Michael Jackson into, uh, into a werewolf? And to, to show me, he grabbed the, our big dictionary, and in the corner he drew these tiny pictures of a little man, and each one changed slightly, and he flipped it. And right in front of my eyes, I saw this character just like come to life and I was hooked after that. You create a character and if you do it a good enough job, then kids of all ages will watch it and they feel connected to it. And you're sitting in the theater watching someone laugh or get sad or excited for something you created. I mean, that is like, it's addicting. I love it. It's, it's my reason for being here. My mother was very sick with lupus and it was kind of at this stage where you are starting to realize you're close to losing that person that you love. And I was up late just trying to handle grieving and, and processing. And I f felt so delicate. And the only thing I could think of that was similar to that was, uh, was a dandelion. So I wrote uh, this one line that was, there once was a dandelion and it was brave enough to fall to pieces. That was the spark of, of making Dandelion. My father had always raised me to say, if there's anything in your life that's hard and you're trying to work your way through it, that's when you need your art the most. And in that one night, I, I put it all together and I posted it and it started connecting with other people who had experienced loss. The idea of a Dandelion being so delicate and the wind being able to take it and spread it everywhere. I love the idea of when you're losing someone, they're not really gone. When I look at the cover of Dandelion, that cute little face, it's my mom, like that's her face. So anytime someone's uh, buying it and posting a picture holding it, that's a piece of her going everywhere. And that's, that's the, for me, the Dandelion.